I wanted to talk about uh, how much uh, my health has improved. Uh, for a few years now, I've been improving my diet little by little. And, uh, you know, I had problems that have disappeared. I had, I had a growth over here, and it disappeared, dried up and fell off. And um, I had another one on my arm, the same thing. I uh, had a bad taste in my mouth. I had bad odors on my body. And uh, in the beginning of these problems, I thought it was gluten, so I stopped eating gluten. And I think about two years I didn't eat it. And uh, I, I became proficient in how to, you know, make all kinds of things without gluten. And then one day I started thinking, maybe it's not the gluten. Maybe it's just eating too many carbohydrates, too many starches. And when I say starch or carbohydrate, I don't mean things like squash or beans. I mean grains. Not even root vegetables like uh, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, but grain. I think uh, that's what we eat too much of in, in our culture, culture of the United States and in many other countries too. And even if you're eating grain that's whole grain, you know, like whole wheat, um, brown rice, um, even that, it's too starchy. Yes, the fiber helps you not to uh, assimilate all that starch. It removes some of it, but it's still very starchy. So when I'm careful with my carbohydrates, you know, when I measure them, when I look at them in the dish and decide, you know, is that too much? Is it, is it just right? When I measure them, then I don't have problems with a bad taste in my mouth, bad odors on my body. Um, and here's an experiment you can do to see what I'm talking about. Uh, take some bag of grain, you know, one that's not super, super closed, you know, with uh, all kinds of glue and all kinds of bags and seals. Something that's just, you know, a normal plastic bag that uh, that it comes in and it might have these little tiny, tiny, you know, openings in it. And put it in a cupboard and, and leave it there, you know, a few days, a few weeks. And then open the cupboard and see what it smells like in there. And that's exactly the same type of uh, bad smell that I get, you know, in, in or bad taste in my mouth that I get um, in my mouth, on my body. So... I mean, I'm talking about even uh, your liquid waste, your urine can get that smell on it. And that's why I know for sure that it is too many carbohydrates. So, you know, our body gives us messages, symptoms. It lets us know. A symptom, a symptom isn't something that, oh, you know, go get a pill for and get rid of it. It's, it's telling you this is a problem. There's an imbalance and do something about it and you know this is this is a wonderful thing um, it's not it's not bad if you have a headache it's great it's letting you know something's wrong and you have to fix it so if we can be positive about anything that's uh, going on in our body and uh, try to find out what it is uh, it's such a great time when we have so much information online and we could look things up and, you know, you don't have to just look at one website, you look at a few, make sure you look at websites that you can trust. Basically, I think uh, university websites are the best because they, they don't really have any private agenda. They're not trying to sell something. So... Um, Think about what I'm saying, and um, there's there are some cultures that say, you know, nature has provided a cure for everything. We just have to find it. <laughs>